Hi everyone, I am back. Today's Wednesday, August 3rd, 2016. Wow, it's been over four months, I think, um, since my last video. Uh, and today, uh, I finally moved into this new house uh, on August 1st. It's a duplex, it's a small two bedroom duplex. Uh, I used to live here five years ago, over five years ago, but now I'm back here. Um, and today I want to kind of show you guys what I'm working with and eventually I will make some more video uh, about the gardening, about the garden and what I'll be growing soon. Uh, but before I talk about that, I want to say thanks to all our subscribers. Uh, thank you for the well wishes and support. Also, I want to thank you guys for posting a lot of comments on my channel, uh, discussions. I uh, apologize uh, for not responding to some of the comments, but eventually I will because I don't have, because uh, like I said, I've been moving, I've been away for a while, I don't have um, connection, internet connection yet. Uh, so I still need to set up internet connections and then I will respond to your comments one by one, I promise you. Okay. I um, also want to share something with all of our friends and subscribers. Uh, about a month ago, on July 1st, I went into uh, surgery. So I had a surgery done. Uh, I had a pacemaker put in into the left side of my, under my collarbone, of course, right, right below my shoulder in the front of my collarbone. Uh, well, I have a condition called bradycardia. Uh, what's what that is essentially is uh, slow heart rate you know slow heartbeat uh, so I, I need a pacemaker um, to to send a signal to the, the atrium uh, to simulate the heart so the heart can beat at the regular heart rate 60 beat or 65 beat per minute uh, but like I say uh, I think I'm pretty lucky that I the doctor find out uh, diagnosed with with this condition but overall my heart is, is fine my heart the organ is just pretty strong it's just uh, the electrical signal is, is off uh, so then that's why I need a pacemaker so right now I'm still in a recovery mode my left shoulder is still I still have pain and it's recommended by the doctor that I don't lift heavy stuff uh, for a while until I fully recover uh, because I don't want to disturb the the device and I don't want to um, accidentally move the the leads uh, which are the two wire that go into my heart uh, that produce the the electrical signal so I don't want to disturb it and don't want to accidentally pull on it or bend it or whatever so um, so I, I have limit movement on my right shoulder uh, especially lifting heavy stuff or you know digging <laughs> digging uh, soil or carrying compost, five gallon compost. I can't do that now until I'm fully recovered. Uh, even when after I'm fully recovered, I still have to be careful not to overdo it. Okay, but that's so much for me. So let's focus on uh, gardening and what I'll be growing soon. Uh, not anytime soon, not next week, but I think it can be a while before I can start. Uh, but I want to show you guys what I'm working with. Um, so here it's the little piece of uh, soil that I'll be uh, prepping and preparing and maybe cultivate and eventually grow some stuff here. So from here, it's about um, roughly uh, four feet, I think, and all the way down to that, that wall right there, it's maybe about, I would say, 25 feet. So about 100 square feet, over 100 square feet of uh, of uh, soil and you can see here the, dr the soil here is very very dry sandy uh, completely opposite from my other old place where where the old place is very hard clay and uh, very hard soil here is very loose very sandy and that's okay I mean I don't mind um, like again eventually I will amend the soil uh, and, and start growing stuff. Uh, now we're in the middle of the hot summer season. 
Uh, I think it's kind of late to go anything for the summer, uh, but eventually I will, I will grow this summer stuff here. As you can see here, the people, I don't know who grew this, there's a lot of dragon fruit here. They're not doing very well. As you can see, they're very thin. Look at this, these are almost like paper thin. When they should be uh, rectangular, right? Three-dimensional, uh, like triangular, three-dimensional. But they're very thin, like paper, like look at this, how thin they are, because they haven't been taken care of, so. And a lot of weeds are growing here. Look at this, all this grass and weeds. And look at this, look at that. Uh, and here's some, some wild tomatoes growing. And of course, I brought over some of my old uh, five gallon pot plant. This is cherry moya that I, that I grow from seed. Um, again, this is what I have to work with though. So eventually I will uh, get the soil up, up and running and then you can grow some stuff. And if you look at this one, this is one of the chili plant I planted five, six years ago. It's about eight feet tall now on top. And if you recall one of my videos from my old, old house, remember that that plant, that chili plant that some of you guys call it a, like a Christmas tree? Yeah, this is exactly what it is. This is the sand plant that I planted here about six years ago. And now it's like six feet tall, and no, seven feet tall, and nobody really taking care of it. But it's it's really tough. It's a tough, tough plant. So it keeps growing and keep growing and keep growing. Look at this, I can barely make it through here. And of course we have a lot of wild growing bitter melon. Bitter, melon, bitter, bitter melons are pretty tough too. They grow like crazy. Uh, but of course you need to take care of them, otherwise they don't produce nice, beautiful fruit. They will produce, but they won't, they won't produce nice, uh, you know, large fruit. So here, you have a lot of bitter melon here, and the weather's getting hot, so they're turning yellow and turning, they're ripening up now. And of course, from this corner here, all the way down to maybe the gas meter there, it's another, another maybe 70, 25 feet. But, it's, but the, the soil is narrow from here to here. So here I have about two feet, two and a half feet of soil to work with. So roughly 75 square feet here, plus another 100 square feet, maybe 200 max square feet. So it's not a very much space compared to my old house. Uh, but again, you, you can only work with what you have. So just, just work with what you have. And sometimes a small space, it's good because you can focus in on several uh, few plants rather than growing so much that you don't have time to take care of them. Look at all this w growing wild bit of melon. And like I say, they produce beautiful melon beautiful bit of melon look and here's the one beautiful melon right here look wow such beautiful six inches yeah beautiful okay so eventually i will clean this place up and i will make another video to show you guys um again it won't it won't be anytime soon because again i'm still recovering from my surgery uh so i don't know when i can come out here and and, and start digging and plowing and, and pulling all the weeds out and the mend the soil. Uh, I don't know when. I hope I can do it soon. Um, and uh, and we get back to the topic of gardening. Well, well, thank you for watching and thank you for your support. Um, I hope to see you guys soon. So happy gardening and uh, see you again soon. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.